So I'm already understanding that PCOS, insulin resistance are all contributing towards infertility also. Am I yes. right? Absolutely. hundred percent. Yet, would you like to explain that in today's time, you know, there are a lot of infertility issues happening amongst yes. the men yes. and men. Yes. So, so uh, for women, I think the main reason um, which I feel is uh, um, a poor pelvic health. So this area, okay, you know, this area where your uterus and the ovaries are, mm -hmm. this, um, you know, how um, in olden days we would, and uh, the kitchens used to be on the, you know, niche hota tha, platform pe bhi nahi hota tha. Right. We would squat a lot all the time and we clean the whole house. We would, you know, do chara yeah, yeah, puja yeah. and all that. This area get, used to get used a lot. Okay. Nowadays, if you look at a sedentary job where you're just sitting and laptop, mm. this portion of, of your body is not getting used. You, this needs a lot of circulation, blood okay. circulation in this, in this area. So, um, Doing a lot of pelvic floor exercises and doing a lot of stretching and pelvic asanas, for example, mal asan or doing like a butterfly pose, okay. trying to open that pelvic area, mm -hmm. uh, doing something like a sarvang asan in which we go, you know, uh, right. we are shoulder stand where right. the body is like this. And yeah. uh, so basically, if you see and gravity wise, all the blood is going down, 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 down mm -hmm. all the time. So when we do a shoulder pose, uh, we the blood starts to go. Uh, in the opposite direction. So it's right. almost like shaking a bottle mm -hmm. where everything is kind of settled down. Yeah. And then when you shake it, it all mixes yeah. up. So when yeah. you do a shoulder pose, then basically the blood starts to flow in the opposite direction. So it kind of improves the blood flow in that area. So pelvic health is very important for that. And for that, uh, doing a pelvic asans, doing squats, um, doing um, Maybe a lot of leg leg exercises, mm -hmm. um, sitting down, malasan, getting up again and again, doing like uh, yeah. then bath, just go bolte, right. squatting, upper niche karna. Wo bahut, that is very helpful. Sh uh, shoulder po poses um, in in sarvangasan is very very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, and then that because that pelvic health is deteriorating because it's not moving that much. Right. So you have to take care of that. So once you start moving that area, that can right. really help. Okay. Um, because why would you have a cyst, ovarian cyst or fibroids or growth over there? It's because it's just static. It's just accumulating things and they're sitting there and the movement is not happening. Mm. So exercising and move movement in that area can really help in okay. reducing those infertility issues that are that are happening. Other than that, basically nutrient deficiency is, is another big one because of which infertility is on the rise. Um uh, then the other thing would be, again, like we covered sleep. Sleep can be a uh, thing. And then the fourth thing is stress. Stress is a huge one as well. Um, I think um, reading too much, we get too overwhelmed with the information that, oh, I'm 35. So I cannot, you know, I, you know, my ovaries will, you know, are not that good. So I should go for an IUI or an IVF. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think not taking too much stress. And then um, just giving that environment to your body, which actually can then conception can naturally happen. You can easily conceive up to 42, 43, easily, naturally. Right. Um, so there is no hurry. You can right. give yourself some time. And if after six, eight months of giving it a good try, if it's still not happening, then you can go for an IU or an IVF, but at least your chances of conception will be higher in that case. Perfect. Yeah, but infertility obviously is rise. Uh, it starts with insulin resistance. It starts with sedentary lifestyle, mm. and I think it's also because uh, you know generally um, we eating is it food is really readily available, right? So we're eating way too many times during the day, like too much of food consumption, right? Calorie mm. intake is very high, so you put on a lot of weight, and that can slow things down. So mm. if you are overweight by two, three kgs, four kgs, then try to, you know, bring it down because that will make you come to an optimum weight, which can help you conceive as well. Because now, jitna weight badega, utna body ka burden badega. It has to do right. that much extra work to take care of the bigger body, right? Because so then everything slows down. And fertility is actually the last... Uh, Hamara survival ke liye to zaruri nahi hai na. Bilkul. Aapko pehle lungs ki protection karni hai, kidney ki. That oh. should run well, you know. Right. The body is like, okay, jab ye sab thik ho jayega, then I'll think about fertility. Because, yeah. you know, so fertility is last on the agenda of a body. Right. Um, so unless everything else is correct, it's not going to focus on fertility that much. That's why it gets impacted also first. True. Um, so the effect of uh, a bad health will be shown on your period and fertility first. Mm -hmm. 
and when you make changes the effects of the good diet will be seen last on your on your fertility because then yeah. first it will take care of everything else and like yeah. okay now everything else is taken care of now whatever is left we will we will feed the fertility uh, reproductive hormones estrogen progesterone and all that